Good morning. The prophet Isaiah exhorts us, I will again do wonderful things with wonder upon wonder. And that is why we are here to hear the wonderful, wondrous things that God has done for us out of grace and mercy, all flowing from our salvation and the Savior promised Jesus Christ. And pray that this morning as you hear the precious gospel of Jesus Christ, as you receive the sacrament that you are strengthened in faith faith that lifts you up in the power of God to live no matter what is going on in your life or in this world you are a child of God so glad you are here to rejoice with me and to grow in faith and every service every service the Spirit of God is gracious to us and brings us visitors and if you are visiting this morning we pray that you know that you have not found a perfect church we admit it but you have found a forgiven church where we strive to share the forgiveness and blessings of God with one another. And let's do that now. For those who are physically able, would you please stand up? Greet those around you, especially anyone you may not know in the love of God. And it's the same with you and me and with everyone around us. On the outside, we put on a smile on the outside, we look okay. People ask us, how's it going? And we say, fine, I'm great, but we're not. Jesus calls us to be honest, to admit our brokenness, to turn to him and receive his full forgiveness and his full hope and power to live. And he calls us to treat others the way that he has treated us. To understand that they're broken and hurting just like we are in different ways, but they're still hurting. And my friends, the gospel of Jesus Christ is so precious. It is our only hope. And this is why every time I stand before you, I encourage you and you and I together to live our mission. God's love shining to us. God's love shining to us with forgiveness and the hope of new life and God's love shining through us to the broken people around us that their lives may be changed like our lives have been changed that the doors of their hearts and lives would be open to his love grace and mercy that together we would move onward that no matter what our brokenness is that together we would move onward in the forgiveness and hope of the Lord oh my friends now more than ever, may we live our mission. God's love shining through us, opening doors and changing lives. Onward. Amen. Jim, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> and you can turn wonderful, wonderful. Now you can turn around that way. Turn that way. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. James Mann. 